So, something a little bit different for me today. Um, it's a little bit darker in the mornings uh, at the minute. I hope it's not too dark on the camera. So, I am off to a, a press event and it's being held by Hater. Now, the last time I had uh, any contact with Hater was last year at Soltex. Um, some of you may know that me and uh, Hater uh, got in touch with me a while ago and, and they we had a deal where I used the 41 uh, the Hater 41 they had the new mowers out a couple of years ago um, I've used that for two years absolutely love it uh, it's actually worked out a really good uh, really good buy for me um, but since Soltex last year I've not really had any more contact with with Hater and all of a sudden out of the blue had an email come through inviting me to this press event where they are showing off some new merchandise uh, some new tools now mowers have only ever been mentioned once but I'm pretty sure it is going to be new mowers um, they have been pretty cagey about what they've been telling people um, I think there's going to be a few other people here as well today which would be nice um, some other youtubers that you might recognize this is exciting for me I've never done anything like this before um, I have no idea what to expect I say hater have been pretty cagey they've asked us not to mention anything up to today so you wouldn't have heard me um, I haven't put anything on Instagram up until this day uh, nothing mentioned on YouTube or anything like that so they have asked us to keep it pretty quiet so without being there and without seeing what hater are going to be showing us I thought I'd tell you what I hope hater are going to be showing us um, I really do like the hater 41 I really do like it um, so basically what I would love is the hater 41 mower but in bigger sizes you know 41 centimeters is 16 inches it's, it's quite quite sort of small I would love it to be 19 inch like the 48 or the, the 56 so I'm really hoping that that is what they're going to be showing us today um, again no idea a little bit earlier out in the morning trying to get I've uh, got to go around the M25 a little bit and uh, a little bit out of my way but you know this sort of thing for me is um, it's real exciting so I'm gonna um, do plenty of filming for you uh, apparently the press thing they're, they're not letting the rest of the press in until about 11 o'clock so we've been asked to get there for about nine and we will be allowed to um, have a look at the mowers and have a use of them for two hours without anybody else being involved so I'm excited so upon getting to the event met up with the other guys that were there got to meet Jason finally Jason from Jason Gardner channel Dave the lawn guy was there who I have met before and obviously Mr. Hater himself Greg from Greg's Mowing. A real good group of guys to spend a day like this with. So once we had had a little bit of breakfast, a couple of cups of coffee, we then headed into the event and we finally got to see the new mowers which are going to be, I think by the time this video is up, they all the information will be out there on them. Uh, they'll be on the websites, that sort of thing. So yeah, they are the brand new uh, range from Hater, the pro versions of the 50 six and the 48 now i'm going to let uh, chris from hater do some of the talking on this video uh, unfortunately the um the video is very quiet so if you want to up your volume please up it now and you'll be able to hear him so we've got the domestic models domestic 48 domestic 56 and also the pro 48 and the pro 56 what we've done with these machines is really focus on making these the best in class for their respective categories. So best in class for collection, durability, reliability and performance, overall performance. Starting off with the 48, we've got the Honda GCV 160 engine on the 48. We retain the split, or sorry, for the 48 we now fit a split rear roller. On the current 48 Pro, it's a single piece rear roller. So it's a split steel rear roller on the 48. On the 56, we have a split rear roller on the 56 too. 
We've designed a whole new differential system in the, in the rollers. We've also introduced what we call a crank-safe BBC system. So both machines now feature BBC as standard, very much like the Honda and the vast majority of the competitors on the market. Crank-safe BBC is an adaptation of the Toro BBC system that incorporates the Hater friction disc. So we're able to offer a BBC, a BBC system with a lifetime crankshaft guarantee. So if you hit something, like a, a, a pole for a washing line or a paving slab or whatever, on where it may bend the crank, you get the warranty on this machine because the friction, sits, friction disc is designed to protect the engine. The BBC system, we wanted to make it nice and easy for everyone to use. We looked at our competitors to see who had the best BBC system. And the entire BBC system is controlled by a very, very simple control up on the handbar, which we can demonstrate outside very, very soon. 48 comes with a 70 litre grass bag, 56 comes with an 80 litre grass bag. We spent a lot of time developing the blade, the deck, the bag, to make sure that these things form like nothing else, to be the best in class. As we look underneath the deck, you can see the blade has been quite a radical style design of blade. It's a weapon, isn't it? It is a weapon. It's, there, it's designed like that to reduce sound, but give us as much collection of performance as we possibly can have. The, high, the larger the sail on the blade, the more noise you create. Now we've got very strict noise regulations to comply with, which sometimes or more often than not means that the engines are slowed down to meet that noise reg. What we've done is we've designed the blade to be efficient with the airflow, but also manage the sound. Code. Our engineering team drew inspiration from Airbus and Rolls-Royce, sorry, not Airbus, Boeing with the uh, 787, where the flutes are on the blade, they're all they're done to um, control the airflow and bring the airflow back together on the machine, on the, as the blade spinning to reduce the sound level. So we've got the wash port feature as per the Harrod 41, single port height of cup as per the Harrod 41, heavy duty wheels, the front bumper, handlebar supports. The Pro 48 and Pro 56 as per the Harrod 41 now come out with a two year professional warranty as opposed to the one year that we offer on the machines today. It was interesting to chat to the guys from Hater about their past mowers, so the previous 48 Pro and the 56 Pro. Uh, now Hater were the first to admit that they've sort of got a little bit left behind by some of the competition. Uh, their old style mowers probably weren't as good as they could have been. And these mowers now, um, compared to the old versions, are basically a 90% brand new machine. They we got to chat to one of the main designers there and uh, yeah they've really sort of taken them back to to nothing and started again you know the the positions of the bag on the back is totally different the blade underneath is a totally different blade um yeah so they are a a totally totally different mower than they used to be i never got to use the old style uh 48 or 56 um but i heard quite a lot of negative um, things about them um, I've used the 41 for the last couple of years and I've really been impressed with it and it always surprises me when I hear the bad you know people saying oh, I bet they don't bag well or and I think well the 41 does um, so I'm hoping with the 41 being a decent mower that that will then um, carry on with the the bigger versions the 48 and the 56 now I'm going to let Chris have a bit of a chat about the blade brake system they've got on these mowers. So again, volume up, guys. BBC systems. Being part of the Toro company, we had access to their BBC system, which is their own design. It's been around for many years. Um, the Honda system, we found from customers that it's the easiest one to use, the easiest to engage. You just simply push down and press forward on the bear lines. That's great, and it's easy to use, but the ergonomics, the actual where you can put your hands to control the machine once you have both the drive and the BBC bail arms engaged is restricted. 
So we thought, okay, well, how can we make a BBC system that's easy to use and comfortable to use at the same time? So the Crankshaft BBC, to engage the BBC, you don't, obviously don't need the, uh, the bail arm to start the engine, so you start the engine as you would do normally, and then to engage the blade, you simply press the button in that's on the side here, pull the bail arm back, and the blade is engaged. Very simple, two-step, one-handed process to engage the blade. And I'll demonstrate the engine. <laughs> So, obvious benefit of the BBC is you're not having to stop and start the engine every time you've got to empty the grass bag. You can just turn the engine down here on the engine control speed here, leave it running at idle while you empty the bag. Um, so Cranksafe has also got the friction disc system built into it. We have a, it is patent pending to Hater at the moment. So as you can see you've still got the friction disc underneath the blade there. So with the friction disc and the BBC system, We'll be marketing that as Crankshaft BBC. So after having a bit of a chat on the mowers, we were finally let loose on them. So you can see Jason is off in one direction, and on the left-hand side you'll see Greg is um, putting putting the, uh, the 56 through its paces. I just want to show you how easy I found it to um, engage the blades. Um, ever ever so easy it's a brand new uh, design i've never seen a mower with this sort of design on it it's a little just a simple little button on the side and um off it goes very similar in speed if you've used the 41 very similar in speed um, the one thing they had said to us at the uh, event was not to cut the grass too low because they had a wedding at this venue um the day after this event and um, yeah, as I was cutting the grass, wandering down there, I noticed that somebody had put the setting on number two, so I had to so quickly uh, raise the mower up. We had quite a few mowers to have a look round on this day, um, not just Hater, but obviously Toro. Um, had quite a few Toro mowers there as well. Now we got a couple of hours to use the mowers, and really I can't give you a full review on it obviously because only using it for a, a couple of hours but um, a couple of things I can mention about it they are very quiet mowers found them to be a lot quieter than my Honda for example um, I was really pleased that the 48 had um, all of the the handles um, if you've used the 41 before uh, across the top of the the back of it it's got a few sort of handy handles which help me get the uh, mower in and out of the van so the the 56 doesn't have that but the 48 does which will help me you know lugging things like that in and out of the van now on this day i finally got my hands on a toro time master now if you've watched some of my videos before you know i do quite a few big lawns and i always get a comment saying you must get yourself one of these mowers you must get yourself the toro time master so i finally got my hands on one and i was really pleased with them um, with with using it got on very well with it but I only managed to do one strike with it because getting to the bottom of the hill I ran out of petrol I'm not sure if that's a sign I'm not sure if that is uh, destiny talking to me saying you will never get one of these mowers but yeah I had to push it back up the hill um, whether or not I get one in the future you never know but if I did get one I would make sure it's uh, full up with petrol There was a couple of things that uh, the guys at Hater couldn't tell us why we were here. They hadn't quite gotten the specifications of it yet. I'm sure that by now they're up online somewhere. But we didn't find out the price of any of these mowers. And uh, in fact we didn't actually find out the uh, the weight of them. They're not overly heavy. Um, but again I can't really mention anything on that at the minute because I didn't know it. So we all came away with some goodie bags from uh, from the Hater and the Toro event. Um, lots of different bits and pieces in there. Socks, cakes, pens, you name it, we got it. Again, a massive, massive thank you to uh, Hater and Toro for inviting us to the event. We all had a absolute brilliant time. We've been to our Hater event. Now um, you won't 
we're filming this on the 28th of September, but you won't see it until 31st of October, around that time. We can't show anything. Um, just quickly going to buzz around the group. Jason, how was the day for you? What do you reckon? Brilliant. Enough said. Dave, what do you reckon? Well, I think this sums it up. And I know you're very excited. Extremely. Oh, yeah. The hate, hate the socks. socks. You can't go wrong. Oh, Greg, what did you think to today? Yeah, I think it was a good day. Better than Christmas? Well, we didn't have as much food as Christmas Day. I'm not sure. We oh, had three-course meal. It was yeah, pretty oh, good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'd yeah. <laughs> say so thanks to all the boys. Good to see everybody. First time meeting Jason was brilliant. And a uh, safe journey home, everyone. So I'm on my way home now from the Hater Press event. Man, that was a really, really good day out. I didn't know what to expect when I first got there. I, I really thought it might be something that we would be done with by about 12 o'clock. Uh, it's now about four o'clock, so I'm not far off home now, but it's about four o'clock. Um, so yeah, it's been basically a full day at it. Um, really interesting to see a sort of bit of a behind the scenes thing, um, to have a chat with the guys who actually designed. Sorry, I'm going sat there. <clears throat> so to be able to sit down and have a chat with the guys who designed this mower, um, to ask them questions, uh, yeah, I mean, just don't ever get to do that sort of thing, ever. Um, but massive thank you again to Hater for um, inviting me to this thing, uh, it's very, very, something very new to me, and I am just really grateful that you would think to um, invite me. Guys, take care, be good, and I will see you next time.